On brothers and sisters, now we've covered many times just how evil is entrenching itself everywhere, in society, in the world, in laws, in absolutely everything, as they work feverishly to remove God and everything about God from society and life, because we know who's coming to rule them. So I just want to start, before I read you this article, with 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 1 to 6. Manasseh was 12 years old when he became king, and he reigned 55 years in Jerusalem. But he did evil in the sight of the Lord according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. For he rebuilt the high places which Hezekiah his father had broken down. He raised up altars for the Baals and made wooden images, and he worshipped all the host of heaven and served them. He also built altars in the house of the Lord, of which the Lord had said, In Jerusalem shall my name be forever. And he built altars for all the host of heaven in the two courts of the house of the Lord. Also, he caused his sons to pass through the fire in the valley of the sun at Hinnom. He practiced soothsaying, used witchcraft and sorcery, and consulted mediums and spiritists. He did much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. Fast forward thousands of years to today. Top British University's Arab and Islamic Studies School offers a degree in magic and occult science. The Institute of Arab and Islamic Studies at the University of Exeter promises decolonization, feminism, and anti-racism in its new master's degree in magic and occult science, the first of its kind in the UK. The University of Exeter is part of the Russell's group of leading British universities and launched the Master of Arts in Magic and Occult Sciences, a development perhaps reflecting the rise of interest in the occult and in the increasingly post-Christian West. An online prospectus advertising the course illustrates key benefits including an invitation for students to join monthly meetings of the prestigious Center for Magic and Esotericism and the chance to study the course's core course, Esotericism and the Magical Tradition, provoking the Lord to anger. This world has never been more ripe for judgment than it is right now. And why does it look like this? It does not dismay me. It shows me the signs of the times and the urgency that we should have to reach souls, to preach the gospel, to spread the word on every way we can, wherever we can, that we may snatch but one more from the flames of hell that was set for the devil and his angels. And he's trying to take as many with him as he can. God bless. Keep shining your light and keep making a difference while we can. Shalom.